Today, less than two months later, the Chinese coronavirus is officially a national emergency here in the United States. President Trump declaring a national emergency just a little while ago. Coronavirus. The coronavirus outbreak. The COVID-19. The coronavirus of COVID-19. All right, guys. Uh, leaving for a trip to Puerto Rico. Um, in spite of the coronavirus or the COVID-19 or whatever it's called this week because uh, chickens are cheap so thanks coronavirus traveling my number one passion in life why you ask because it gets a step into a new place I never stepped before I step into new experiences I step into new cultures I step into new perspectives each one of these steps brings a self-fulfilling accomplishment of growth but most of all traveling makes me feel Joshua Bennett, and welcome to my journey. What's up YouTube? Joshua here, and thank you for watching another episode of Joshua's Journey. Real quick before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe button, and hit that little bell icon so you can get notified next time I upload a new video. So here we go guys flight montage hit it thing I figure out is when I land um, I get out here get a taxi $75 to get to my Airbnb and I have to come back to this airport tomorrow to fly to Vieques that's gonna get expensive here we go so I come to Puerto Rico I got an Airbnb by the way, this all happened yesterday, last night, about, I don't know, 10 o'clock last night. I just decided to come to Puerto Rico, and I'm here. Well, the problem is, is the Airbnb that I got is 45 minutes away from the airport. <laughs> the taxi is $70, so it's 150 bucks to go to my Airbnb, sleep. Then come back to the airport to fly to the airport in the morning. I lost the Airbnb. That's 49 bucks, 50 something dollars. And uh, I have nowhere to stay. I just got the taxi driver to just drop me off right here in San Juan. And uh, this is my bartender. Cool as fuck. So not only did I lose 60 bucks for Airbnb that I uh, planned, 
completely terribly. I am um, just going to party. Hey, thanks, man. Thank A few moments later. Back, just took a shower, freshened up, got some shorts on and loafers. Headed to La Factoria. It's supposed to be the party spot. Here it is. I hear the noise now. Ready for alcoholic beverage. Alright guys, we're going live one more time. I'm headed to El Beatty where Hunter S. Thompson was hanging out I guess when he uh, when he wrote rum diaries. So, it's supposed to be one of the oldest dive bars here. So that's pretty cool. That's where I'm headed now. Well, the first night in Puerto Rico was terribly planned, but well improvised and well executed if I say so myself. The very next morning I woke up, chugged some water, ate some Tylenol, got some breakfast, took some pictures and videos of some colorful buildings, and I headed to the airport to board my plane to Vieques. Did I say plane? I should say a roller coaster with wings and a tail. How I feel about this. I think I weigh enough to take that plane down. <laughs> Even though I felt like at any moment, if I shifted my weight too fast, we were going down. Mayday! Mayday! The views were absolutely amazing. Vieques is about 8 miles east of the Puerto Rican mainland. Vieques is well known for the protest against the United States Navy for using the island as a bombing range and testing ground for three decades. These protests led to the Navy's departure in 2003, but much of the island is still closed off today due to contamination or an unexploded ordinance that the Navy is slowly cleaning up. Once I landed, a longtime friend of mine, Garrett Strader, picked me up and took me to the house to get settled. Garrett moved here with a family friend, Tad Williams, who retired and is living the dream of the island life. Their home is beautiful with a stunning view of Hurricane Bay. Once I got settled, we scheduled a tour to Bioluminescence Bay. Then we went to a dive bar on the north coast called St. Voodoo's Mar Azul. This is where I learned that roosters will attack tourists, but not me. I was ready. This is where we hold them. This is where we fight.
coolest thing about Vic is, is there's wild horses everywhere. There's an estimated 2,000 horses on the island. It's a wild horse. It's a wild horse. Oh yeah, oh yeah. When I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. All right, everybody, so um, I'm on Vieques, and due to this coronavirus thing, all restaurants and bars and everything are shut down. They're doing takeout only, and uh, beaches are closed. Uh, my bioluminescence bay got canceled, which I'm pretty sad about, and um, there's a curfew at 9 o'clock, so nobody can be out past 9 o'clock. So we're just kind of riding around the area downtown, just trying to get out of the house for a little bit. But like I said, I'd much rather be quarantined here on this beautiful island than be stuck in Atlanta looking at four walls. But we're making the best of it. Peace. Hey, Poppy. Your baby horsey. <laughs>
Hey, Bobby, hey, Bobby, hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby.